In this section, I will show you how to start entering vendor invoices into the system. The first demonstration is showing you invoice journals. From the journal area of the accounts payable, I select invoice journal and I choose my first journal to be called demo one. I click on the lines and as you see, similar to the general journal, you have a line view or line form that allows you to choose the account type. Usually who uses this form? The people in a payable department with the higher authority. If they have security right, they can even change the account type, but usually it's defaulted to the vendor, unlike the general journal that was defaulted to ledger. From the account, I pick and choose the only vendor at the moment that I have. The field invoice is mandatory. Unfortunately, it's not redlined. I specify a number here. I call it invoice one, let's say. And for the simplicity of the demonstration, I just put a hundred dollars. That means I'm crediting my vendor a hundred dollars and I use the payable account that I've already created in the previous session as the offset account. So now if you pay attention to the bottom portion of this form, all those things that we have set up in previous session in regards to accounts payable and receivable, they are appeared at the bottom of this page. On the lower left-hand side, you see the terms of payment. Depending on the today's date, it shows 30 days from now that this is going to be your due date. In the case of a cash discount, as you see at the middle section at the bottom, it shows if you pay by this date, you will receive how much discount. So it's like $3 discount, $100, 3%. I validate and I post this a specific invoice. Immediately, whoever uses this form, it makes that invoice to become a liability of your company. That means you are supposed to pay that vendor by when. Is everything recorded here? You're not paying anything, you're just recording the vendor invoice at this time. So I validate, make sure everything's good, and then I select post. However, after this journal is posted, the transactions are recorded into the system. Let's take a peek at what has happened behind the scene. I close the forms and first thing first, switch back to general ledger. Even though I posted the transaction from a sub ledger, I now introduce a trial balance that is a ad hoc report and it only shows the accounts that have any posted transactions against them. Unlike the main account list that shows all the main accounts, this only shows the accounts that are posted properly into the general ledger and are not necessarily sub-ledger accounts. So as you notice here, there's a vendor summary account and indeed the balance, the closing balance is 100 bucks. That means you owe that much. So automatically has hit and the offset is on the payable side. So that's the first demonstration. You see immediately it would change the book or ledger transactions. The next demonstration is 